Hey, Sanford fans, welcome into another edition of The New Normal, where we talk with Sanford coaches, staff, and student athletes about the impact of COVID-19. Today, I'm happy to be joined by Cameron Wood, a long snapper on the Sanford football team. Cameron, thanks for being here. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure. Well, you're kind of on the front lines of this right now. You're driving critical care ambulances around Birmingham, working for, for Lifeguard Ambulance Service. Uh, first of all, what made you interested in doing this, and, and how did the opportunity come about? Well, I started um, getting interested in uh, the medical field about senior year of high school, and uh, I got my basic EMT through doing enrollment in uh, my senior year of high school. And so um, after that, I really wanted to use my practice and use my skills. And so um, I found a job with Lifeguard Ambulance and a UAB Critical Care Transport and um, just kind of took off from there. And I've been working with them for about a year and a half now. So I love my job and I love to help people. That's a, my main drive in life is to help people. So. As far as the amount of calls you've gotten, I mean, have you seen a significant uptick in the last month or two compared to what you saw when you started this job? Yes, sir. It's been a, um, a significant uptake. Uh, a lot of precautions have been taken, but uh, we've been driving all over the state, picking up as far as um, Demopolis, Alabama, all the way up north to even Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we've been just driving to help people and pick up as many people as we can. But um, it's been going on and off a lot, but we're starting to get back to a more normal state now in terms of calls. Yeah, you mentioned the, the precautions. What are some of the extra precautionary measures that we're taking to help you guys, the employees? Yeah, so basically what we have to do now is that after every call with a COVID-19 patient, whether it's negative, positive, or even like under investigation, we have to decon or decontaminate the whole ambulance and we have to wait, let it air out an hour. And then after that, we have to go down and wipe every single thing down, even in the cab where I drive. Uh, we wear um, gowns. Uh, the gowns you see, like they, they wear at hospitals. So same thing with nurses and the hospitals wear the same thing that they do. We wear masks, goggles, gloves, the whole nine yards. And so um, we just make sure that we want to be safe in everything that we do. And we have uh, even have to wear our mask in the hospital when we go back up to our offices in between calls. So all the precautions necessary to keep us safe. So, Tell us what a typical day looks like for you when you're on the job. So what we do basically is that we'll show up in the morning, um, shift changes at 7 a.m. in the morning, and we usually work about 12-hour shifts, and then we mix up some 24s and even 36s, which I got done actually just working on 36 uh, yesterday, so I was really tired after that, but um, we come in, we uh, do our uh, login to make sure our time clock is in order and punch our cards and stuff, and then we go downstairs, we check the ambulances, make sure the uh, other crew uh, communicates with us and make sure that... Uh, you know, everything's in order, no problems happened, and how the other day looked. And then after that, we usually maybe get a call, either it depends, maybe really early in the morning or like right after we check the ambulances. If we have enough time or if the weather's pretty, we'll wash the ambulances every day to make sure that we look professional and clean. And then um, it's just kind of a, you know, wait and see what happens. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a long wait sometimes, but then there's some days you – are running nonstop and it's tiring, but it's a lot of fun too, too, so. What is the, the typical crew size in the ambulance? It's about three, and then um, right now we have a new trainee going through, so I've taken up the role of helping to train him driving and stuff. And so um, our ambulances are actually a, way bigger than your regular size ambulance. It's about the same size as a fire engine, so about 22 feet long. And so these ambulances get a little bit uh, harder to park and harder to drive, and it's a takes a little longer to learn, but um, it, um, we end up. Uh, it takes about me like a month to train a trainee, but um, we have usually us, and then we usually have two nurses, and sometimes we'll have a doctor with us uh, driving along with us, depending on how bad the patient is. So, and on the topic of football and, and fall sports in general, obviously there are still a, a lot of questions in different scenarios floating around, but it is expected that we'll have a fall season, and it'll likely just be modified in certain ways. What all have you heard from the team and the coaching staff? I know that our, um, they, the thing they told us, they don't want to like uh, guarantee anything for us just in case, you know, if someone were to come up and then we have to change plans. But uh, we're aiming for mid-July to start back in a uh, practice and weight room and stuff. And I really can't wait, not wait for that. I miss my teammates so much. But, um, <laughs> but uh, they told us mid-July and then um, we'll just go through there. So. Before I let you go, Cameron, what made you choose Stanford? Obviously, you're, you're a local product. You went to Hoover High School. Was Stanford a school that you kind of always had your eye on growing up? Yes, sir. I've uh, always looked at it as a small college, and I ain't going to lie. I've always wanted to go to like, a big school, but um, 
like senior year of high school, I took a, lot, a bunch of visits here and then uh, went to the games and stuff. I didn't really care about how good the team did. I just wanted to see, like, you know, this is a place where I want to spend the next four years. This is a place where I'm going to bond with coaches, teammates, and even uh, faculty and staff. And, um, man, just the people here are just so nice to me. They uh, made sure I had everything I needed, and they answered all my questions. And it's just like a very good uh, brotherhood and sisterhood throughout the whole Sanford campus and I just love it. And everybody's just kind of the whole big old family. And that's what I like about it the most. Well, Cameron, I really appreciate your time and, and everything you're doing to assist people in need. Hopefully we'll see you back on campus pretty soon. Yes, sir, I hope so too. I cannot wait for that next football season. I can't wait to pull in the pads. That's Cameron Wood, I'm John McAfoos. That'll do it for this edition of The New Normal. Stay tuned to our Sanford Athletics website and social media pages for more interviews in the coming weeks.